SmartphoneNirvana.com. Merlin Dean here. We're going to set up the email on the iPhone. I'm shooting this video using the iPhone 4 HD video camera. But for this example, on setting up the email, I'm going to use this 3GS camera that I have right here. If you look on the bottom next to phone, you're going to see mail, that icon right there. You can readjust that, of course, just by putting your finger down. They all dance and you can, you know, move them around anywhere you want to. But just for this example, we're going to show you where it is right there. To get them to stop moving, you just hit your home button. So tap the mail, and you're going to see here all the carriers. You're bound to be with one of these big ones. We're going to use Yahoo here for this example. So let's pretend like you have a Yahoo mail. Now I'm going to bring this in closer to the camera, readjust the focus, and then up on the top, you can see here when you tap on that, it brings up the keyboard. Put in your first and your last name, not your email name, your first and your last name. So I'm just going to use John Smith here as an example. So we're going to actually do every step. If you need to make a correction, put your finger on the actual letters. You'll see a magnifying glass come up so you can make your corrections that way. For those of you that don't already know. Next, when you're done with the name, tap under address. Here's where you're going to put in your email address. Don't do anything differently, just your normal e email address. So in this case, I'm going to put JS, there's the at. Now I'm going to put Yahoo. There's your dot, and then dot com. So you can see we have your first and last name, your email address as it always appears. Underneath here, very important, password. A lot of people screw up on this because they don't know about the capitalizations. It's case sensitive. So make sure that you go down here on your upper arrow to make sure the right capitalized letters are in there for your password. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm putting in a password here. Whoops. Go down a line. There we go. So the password, I'm just going to put in a, some vague password. Underneath that, it just puts in at Yahoo on its own. So just disregard the last line. Now, assuming everything in here was done right, which I did not do, you're going to hit save on the upper right hand corner. And then you're going to see little check marks show up on each line if I did it right, but I did not. So you're going to see a window come up saying that you cannot get mail because the password has not been confirmed. What you need to do then in that case is go back to Yahoo. You're going to have to go through reset password. And once you do that, then you can come back through here put in the password correctly, and once you do, it's going to take you right to your emails. Now another thing is after your emails get set up, a lot of people want to set up more than one account. They have a Gmail, they have a Yahoo, they have AOL. In that case, after your email has been set up, go to the Settings tab, and from the Settings tab, you're going to go to the Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. Tap on that, and right there, you have Add Account. So after you've already set up one account, Go back like I just showed you, hit add account, and it'll let you put in your next email account. You can get up to 10 email accounts through your Apple iPhone. This is SmartphoneNirvana.com with Merlin Dean. Thanks for joining us.